Hi, how are you doing fellow YouTubers? Welcome to my channel and thank you for dropping by and watching my video. In today's video, I'd like to make some um, pieces, necklaces to sell online. But before that, before we would start, I would like you to subscribe, like and share. I uh, would really appreciate it and it would mean so much to me and it would really help my, uh, my channel. So in this project, I would need the following. We need uh, some beads, of course. We need some uh, rose quartz beads. 8 millimeter rose quartz. Something like this. Some... Uh, this uh, nuggets is also a rose quartz. And some uh, 8 millimeter... Um, potato pearl is freshwater pearl but I like the potato because it has its character it is uh, like um, natural it's uh, an even potato I mean pearl so we need some uh, head pins the two inches of uh, this kind of head pin, 2 inches, 5 centimeter. Also, we need some uh, jump ring, the 12 millimeter jump ring. We need also the 6 millimeter. And we need some lobster claw clasp. And of course, we need uh, the bead wire. We need the pliers with teeth. We need the one with the round nose. And we need uh, the wire cutter. So what we're gonna do first, if we have to make the uh, the thing like this, this is the, the earring that I made. Well, we may have to make something like this. It starts with the um, with the nuggets like that, and then with the with the potato, two potato. like this two potatoes and then the rose quartz like that and you cut the excess head pin cut it and you curl it up like this outside then come inside towards you like that and then you finish it with this uh, pliers you bend it towards you like that then you get the six millimeter jump ring I close it so tight you put the six millimeter jump ring like that Then, voila, like that. Then, when you finish, you need uh, 16 of these, 16 like this, and you put them in the bead wire like that. And then you alternate it with the potato. Like that. And then with the rose quartz like that and then alternate it with a the potato there you go something like this then alternate it and then the result would be like this. 
I made one already. Isn't this gorgeous? This is the finished product. So 16 like this with the potato and then the uh, roast quartz, the chips, the big chips. It's like nuggets, not the chip nuggets. And then with the potato and then the roast quartz and then you alternate it with the roast quartz and then the potato, pearl potato, freshwater pearl. And this is the result. I'm going to make another one. It's uh, with uh, with this uh, blue turquoise beads. 8 millimeter, and then 6 millimeter. And again, we need the... Uh, with the head pin. You put the 8 millimeter first, then 6 millimeter or the red. I need the red beads also. It's a glass red beads. I love these red beads. And then just like that. And then you cut it. And you curl it. And put the jump ring. Like that. And you make 16 of these also. And then you arrange it using the 8 uh, millimeter. And this is the result. So let me finish on this side because I need a couple of the this to go on this side. Just need a couple of these on this side and one more. 8 millimeter followed by the red beads and then 6 millimeter and cut the excess and then you do it like this curl it up and put the jump ring And you make 16 of these. It's just perfect 16. And you close it tight so that you don't lose it. So I'm making like uh, like 16 to 17 inches like almost a choker so I make sure I have the same number of beads on the other side I'm counting it I'm missing a couple I need a small one, the six millimeter. How are you doing? I 
I'm almost done. Already. I'm just about to close it. I'm just going to need a uh, my jump ring. Let me just measure it. It's like 16, 17. I don't want it too long. Don't forget your crimp. Because your crimp is the one that will hold it together. This crimp are so tiny. There you go. And just uh, crimp it. Just crimp it and uh, cut the excess wire. And just make sure it's uh, tight. Something is hanging here. So get another crimp. Get another small beads. There you go. It's almost done. I love this combination, the red and then the the blue combination oh, is my favorite. You really need a different color for contrast. If it's just too blue, too much blue, it's it's no good. I like blue and white, blue and yellow, blue and pink. So you crimp it now and voila. This is your finished product. Isn't that pretty? Aha, I love this. Let me show you. This one I made this already earlier. It has fluorite and black obsidian. It's six millimeter black obsidian. And I believe this is um, carnelian right here. And it's so pretty. The color black is so nice with other color of beads. If it's just black and black, it's um, I don't like it, but with different other colors. Here's another one. It's the same technique, the same thing, but just different beads that you could use. This is also 8 millimeter um, turquoise beads and 6 millimeter right here. And it has uh, serpentine, the tubular beads, and then this is uh, like rectangular shape. Uh, rose quartz. There's another one. It's also the 8 millimeter turquoise and 6 millimeter here, but I use uh, four pearl. It has a nice contrast also. It's pretty. If you wanna interested with these pieces, you could uh, go to eBay. Isabel Umberto 2010 Look, this is like a winning piece. I love this one I 
and this one as well I love this rose quartz it's so dainty so coming to the eye and the sheen of the um, pearl it gives it a luster and these are not too long these are like uh, 17 16 uh, inches long it's pretty let me put it on this one I have too much necklace already. Ha ha! It's pretty, it's beautiful. And let me try on the other one, the red one. Let me take up this other piece. I love the yellowish color also. This is also uh, done by me. Let me try this piece. I'm excited to wear this one. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. The red and then the blue. It's uh, perfect. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I really appreciate you watching my video and um, please subscribe, like and share. Bye-bye.